I love them. I think um, projections really provide a, a way to like fill up a lot of space with the mood you want. Mm -hmm. um, I loved when we did Annie. Mm -hmm. um, I keep thinking of just like the, there's one of the projections with the uh, in the orphanage mm -hmm. and just the windows, and it's so it was so simple, but you just got the feeling of how big and kind of dark that space was for the kids. Mm -hmm. And it's something that, I mean, with like two flats right. behind some girls, like, <laughs> <laughs> like it's just not going to have the same feel of like the, the, because <laughs> it conveys like, this is an orphanage, but it also conveys kind of the bigness of the darkness of yeah. where they were. They yeah. were. I don't know if I can yeah. explain that. It right. kind of captures a mood. Exactly. In a way. Yeah. And so again, like if I, if we would have done that show with out projections, you know, it'd either be a blank stage or we would have painted a right. few flats and it would have been, you know, like this big on a really big stage, you know? Right. So I love that it fills it up and you have the freedom and flexibility to like put a lot of different things up there, mm -hmm. you know, or to, to brighten it up a little bit. And, yeah. oh, it's like the orphanage is actually getting happier as Annie's getting more right. hope, you know? Right, right. So. Yeah. I, mean, I love that about it too. I think we talk about a lot how there, there's just this wide range of styles. Mm -hmm. You have everything, and of course, when we were doing some shows together, we did you know Honk Jr., which is kind of on one end of yeah. the spectrum, which is very whimsical, almost, I, I always imagined it like the cover of Charlotte's Web, the book, you know, it's yes. ink and watercolor, light, uh, very untreatable and appealing for children, really everybody. And then on the other end, you have I mean, I think Annie would fall in there or mm -hmm. West Side Story or In the Heights, you know, where it's gritty or photoreal. It can be heavily textured. Right. And then you have everything in between. And I love that yeah. about it. It's just this sort of infinite playground where you can find all kinds of art styles that could really well suit a show. I mean, some shows you probably could design five different ways. Right, I know. You know, depending yes. on the take. Mm -hmm. You know, and so. even with Annie, I've seen that show stylized in more of like a cartoony mm -hmm. type of back, background or with a, a style that was more like the Annie cartoon. Right. Where I've seen it, like we did it, more realistic. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's the beauty of projections too. You can just like change the, the style, you right. know, pretty easily. Right. right. And when you don't, I mean, it's great for if you have the space to make set pieces to roll on with the backdrops or if you don't like have I've never had a shop I'm usually like mm -hmm. painting stuff in my back garage or something you know <laughs> with my students you know yeah. but it just provides a way to fill up just fill up the space with such right. beautiful colors and mm -hmm.